Meteorologist Chris Spears is back. Chris, here's hoping for a ton of the real thing. Yes, and I think we can deliver, and let's hope this is just the start of an active weather pattern. We sure need it. Uh, we have a little wave over us right now, kind of out ahead of the main storm, still sitting up off the coast of Washington. This wave is kicking up a few areas of light snow. Uh, you have to go really far west on I-70 to run into any of this, all the way over toward Glenwood Canyon and beyond, or down into our San Juans. We have a little bit of light snow uh, out there, and it'll come in very heavy as we move through your day tomorrow. I'll outline your future cast in a moment. Let's real quick uh, hit the almanac for today. 53 and 29, your official numbers if you keep track here at CBS 4, 55 and 37 above normal for this time of the year. Extensive cloud cover across the state today, uh, keeping temperatures pretty uniform in the high country and out west, mostly 30s and 20s on the eastern plains. A little bit more going on here. We have some 30s and 40s in the river valleys of the eastern plains, but 50s on the southeast plains and right along the urban corridor still at this hour. Bob Rising in Estes Park, 37 degrees. He left us a little comment and said his wind speeds today gusting as high as 30 miles per hour. And we do have several pockets of wind across the state. This is just part of the atmosphere kind of uh, getting charged up with the incoming storm. So we'll see areas of wind off and on through your night and into the day on Thursday. Here's your future cast. If you're traveling tonight, snow showers scattered, not too heavy in the high country. It could slow you down a little bit, uh, but not super heavy until we roll into your Thursday. You see the clock at noon there. That's when the snow will really start to become widespread and heavy at times. This is Thursday night. It will be a very tough night to travel in Colorado's high country. As we roll into your Friday, the mountain snow shower activity will decrease to more widely scattered showers, but you see a little bit of action here in Denver and on the Northeast Plains. I have a zoomed in future cast for you. Look at the clock, 11 o'clock Thursday night. And I want to say with a storm this dynamic, it's always fair game to get a rain or a snow shower uh, popping up as the storm comes in. But as far as snow, we think our best window is towards sunrise on Friday as a little cold front comes through, but you see this is not a terribly impressive future cast map. Uh, it's going to be widely scattered. We're hopeful you'll get some snow shower activity, uh, but the chances are looking pretty low for only an inch to a dusting. Uh, in the high country, a much different story. We're talking feet, the pink winter storm mornings, a little purple here up around the Eisenhower Johnson Tunnel. That is a winter weather advisory and we also have an avalanche watch in effect Thursday night through Friday. The avalanche information center says dangerous conditions could develop uh, as a result of the incoming snow. Temperatures for your Thursday, uh, similar to today, 50s on the eastern plains, 30s and 40s in the high country. Uh, cloud cover will keep things pretty uniform into our mountainous areas. For your five day forecast in Denver, 52 tomorrow, increasing clouds. Friday, that quick shot for some morning snow, much colder. That's the story. 35 for a high, 16 as we go into your Saturday morning, 40s into the 50s over the weekend. Jim and Karen, just enough snow. You see that toy drive logo, just enough snow to put you in the mood and the Christmas spirit <laughs> to come out and donate at our drive on Friday. Yes, yeah, spend a lot of money, right, for those kids at the Boys and Girls Clubs. All right, thanks so much, Chris. It's